All right, epic Kyrgyzstan hiking video. Uh, this is David here with Kim, Delia, Dan, and um, Tara. <laughs> um, unfortunately, Chara's uh, called off to help rescue everybody from Hurricane Ida, which is amazing. But it means you can't be here with us. So, we went into Bishkek and we immediately jumped into a practice hike in the Ala Archer National Park. At elevation, it was super fun. <laughs> It may be, I think, almost to me, like the hardest day of hiking that we did. Oh. You think? No! Coming, coming down that hill, I struggled. I mean, it was tough, but I guess your legs weren't kind of like broken in yet. We were probably still acclimatizing it a little was, bit yeah, as well. Yeah, we were It didn't snow that day. It did not snow. Yeah, it definitely <laughs> helped. It was a good practice. Yeah, it certainly wasn't, um, certainly wasn't like an easy one. Yeah. This mountain hut was totally awesome. I love this. It was really cool. Uh, so this was like a base, right, for mountaineers? Real, real people going to the peaks? Yeah, they were all practicing doing rock climbing or like mountaineering rock climbing on that on that rear wall there. So you'd like with actual mountaineering boots on, not with rock climbing boots. So practicing for the uh, for the ascents. And what you can't up. see here, right, is the very smelly latrines. Right. Um, but you can see the glacier. All right, headed out for birthday cruises. Woo! <laughs> in Caracol, at the second highest alpine lake in the world. It's, it's not too bad, it's not too bad. Uh, it's definitely not like a mountain stream kind of thing. Um, it's not like oh a mountain stream? It's okay. No, no, it's okay. <laughs> I like it, Delia. <laughs> I know I don't really know. I was just trying just to... Just go. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, so here it is, day one of our seven day backpack. And another taxi ride to Jurgalan. <laughs> We're debating whether or not we really want to actually do this. <laughs> That's funny, I'm looking Which at that way? backpack and I'm guys? thinking, gosh, it felt heavier than that. <laughs> <laughs> that looks. It looks pretty big. We did not turn back. And this was the easiest day. And the sunniest. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is the yeah, this is the sunshine day. I feel like every other day was jokingly the hardest day. <laughs> <laughs> There's a, a lot of uh, discussion or ambiguity about which was the which was the hardest day. On day one I thought, I got this. I can do this. <laughs> what little little did I know? <laughs> and in fact day one, right, we were like uh, playing in the river at the end of the day. Like I was sat in the river having a nice sunbathing, river sunbathe, wash. Uh, and that was the first and only time that I was inclined to get into a river <laughs> on the whole trip. We were so innocent. Though. So happy. <laughs> I, I think this is also when we made the agreement there would be no waving at the drone. <laughs> <laughs> That behavior went into effect yeah. several, several, <laughs> several footages later, though. Okay. Oh, well. Not including I thought on the map it looked like we'd done the cap, but I guess we've done more than that. No, we're way past half. Like, where we made that turn by the yards? That was like halfway, oh, wow. I would say. Yeah, that's what it means. That's what I'm like, okay. Not including the extension. Yeah. <laughs>
this is the hill with all the freaking flies that kept biting us. Big this hill. is our first big pass. This yeah. is a very, very steep start to the day. Also, I was completely walking past it until you shouted out and called me up it. I was Amazing. like, oh, sorry. Okay, yeah. Well, we were, so yeah. was I. They, we were, yeah. Yeah. I saw him and Dan were like, yeah. come up here. Yeah, we were, based on the map, we were aiming for something further down, but uh, <laughs> the GPS took us up there. The first river crossing here. Um, the horse makes it look embarrassingly easy. <laughs> <and> <laughs> okay, this is a little better. Well, this one's a little bit deeper here. Yeah. Um, we were assured by the locals that we would uh, get washed away if we didn't go through our horses. And the dog nearly did, to be honest. The dog was a trooper, right? He went back and forth. The um, dog was insane. The dog did not know what was good for it. Here he goes. Gotta make sure he's with his dad. Yeah, and you can see he's legit swimming in some places uh, as he, he suddenly starts washing down the, the river as he swims across. So we met these shepherds and we paid them 200 psalms each to take us Paris. across. Paris. It was exciting. Uh, yes, first of many river crossings. Uh, what was in the bottom of this? This is the valley where we met all the tourists, right? The bottom of this, so you had all the... Um... Oh, is this the corner we had the big deliberation about whether to try and stay high and climb yeah, the top or... I think so. Uh, and I missed that deliberation when I went down. Yeah. And camped alone. It's like having the tourists. Having just done like a massive climb and, and then looking down and <laughs> see so you had to go all the way down just to go around a corner. It was... It was a tough call whether to, to, to do that and to sacrifice all that elevation or uh, yeah, stay yeah. high. That's the story of this track. Oh, this was <laughs> this, so this was the morning after the storm where we thought the lake was up that hill and so we sent the drone to make sure and to see if... Or no, that was just right, the same evening. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, so the, whole back, the, right, the whole back story here, right? We were all separated. It was raining. We were kind of lost. We were jumping over a lot of rivers, worrying about falling into the rivers. <laughs> um, and eventually we just, at least for Kim and I, we set up camp and then we sent a drone to try and find uh, Dan and Tiara. And I remember I was sitting there with my fingers crossed, like, please be a lake up there, please. Because we really didn't know where we were. We just assumed like that, that yeah. there has to be oh, up there. there's a lake. Like, yes, there's a lake. Yeah, okay, we, we really where's Dan and Tiara? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we really thought the lake was going to be down where you guys were. Like, logically, it made a lot of, would have made a lot of sense. Uh, and then we're scanning the photo on the phone, right? Looking for the tent, and then we see it over on the left-hand side. Not that left-hand side. That's where, <laughs> just, that's where we're, we were going to go, because that's where oh, the trail goes. Yes, yes. Yeah, we took a look at that in the middle of the storm when we set up and we were like, yeah, that looks like a landslide. And then, <gasps> we spot it! Oh, what's this? <laughs> I see some red. <laughs> Should've got that green tent. <laughs> <laughs> and we see them and they have all their stuff laid out to dry, of course, mm -hmm. because it, we were all soaked. Here they come, and they see the drone. Do they see the drone? Yay! They're rescued. Yay. <laughs> or maybe we're rescued. It was pretty, pretty big relief. To, we'd actually already, I think, peered over the the hill, and we'd seen a tent, and we were like, but it was confusing. So it was just one tent, and there should have been two tents. We didn't realize that Delia was also totally separated. <laughs> Lost. Um, so we didn't know if it was you guys for sure, so it was a big relief to see the uh, the drone come in because um, nice. there was a pretty good chance that was Mr. David Goodwin. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been very weird if it was somebody else's drone. Or at least it meant you were somewhere within a five mile radius, which maybe doesn't yes. help that much. <laughs> then we were very worried about Delia. We were like, where is Delia? She's not up there. Delia was a little worried about Delia too. <laughs> Delia made friends with the yurt. I did make friends. I made a friend who found Kim and David and Dan and Tiara and came back and told me where they were. Which helped a lot the next well, morning. Oh uh, yeah, <laughs> he was just like a Norwegian Czech guy who came yeah. by, yes. Yeah. Just as we were going to sleep, he knocked on the tent 
Mm-hmm. He knocked on my tent when I came back, but I was definitely asleep. <laughs> And then we finally made it to the beautiful lake. Yeah, it was uh, much nicer up there when it was raining. <laughs> Technically, there was a lake even higher than that, which we were supposed to get up to and go to at five in the morning. For the sunrise hike. But uh, <laughs> given that uh, there was two people left out of five in our party and... Uh, <laughs> We were not 100% sure uh, we were going to survive the night. <laughs> there were no extra spur hikes after day one. <laughs> <laughs> That's for sure. Go oh, dance party! Go dance party! <laughs> so then we went over the next notch, right? And it was another insane climb up. Um, up this hill on the right, right? We're gonna we actually go up that, that vertical slope on the right is what we end up going up. Alright, we just crossed the pass. It's been lightning and thundering. Uh, we made it over, we've just gone down the hill, so we're a little bit safer now. It looks like it's passing us, but look down here, there's hail like the size of really big. Yeah, there you go. Um it's been pelting us. It just kind of calmed down. If you look over here, we see some blue sky. So we're soaked and wet, but we think we'll make it because we're almost in the blue sky now. Oh my God. <laughs> How's your food coming on, Kim? Pretty good. <laughs> Storm. A few more minutes. Cheesy pasta. Mm -hmm. I think the storm sat on top of you guys, right? Because, like, for us, we came, we got over the pass uh, before the first drops of rain fell. And then, as soon as we got like two meters over the top, it started raining. And we could see lightning and stuff. So, we like, pooped ourselves and we started like pretty much jogging down the hill um, but we could and we just kept going through it um, but it was coming quite fast over the top of us so that's going fast one way and it going fast the other way after maybe 20 minutes we started to see some clear sky the other side of it and we we're like okay we're gonna make it out the other side but I think it's sat on top of you guys right <laughs> yes we made the most of it <laughs> a lot of a lot of tent time 14 hours in the tent that day Yum, yum, yum. Again? Uh, yes. Literally snowing. Oh, fuck. White out, man. Beautiful valley on the other oh, side. Oh, that next day was amazing. This is us getting out of that area, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, because we, we conquered down below those lakes in the storm. It's desolation remaining after the storm. And so then down to the valley, and then obviously another notch, right? Which is uh, again straight up those cliffs um, over the rickety bridge and past the little smoky one room house. Oh, you guys got to stay overnight, right? Yeah, we, we were trying to ask uh, a shepherd if we could, if he didn't mind if we set up the tent in the, in the fields, in his fields, because um, there was all kind of farm around there. And we inadvertently um, ended up, yeah, sleeping in his little like store kind of thing, like a little makeshift top house. Nice. And you got some dinner. Yeah, being fed a feast. Yeah, yeah. We were hungry, so we like gorged ourselves with like backpack meals. And then about five minutes later, they popped in and pulled us into the house, and then like gave us shit loads of food. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, that was. Um, that was a little more than we can handle, but you had to politely eat as much as you could. <laughs> and this is uh, just around this. Well, Delia, weren't you getting attacked by a cow at this point? Uh, Kim got attacked by a cow. Oh, yeah. oh yes. 
What happens? I took a picture of this beautiful cow. It wasn't Without just a cow, consent. it was also the landscape. <laughs> and then um, he just kind of started charging me, and I was like, Dylan, what do I do? <laughs> oh, that was scary. I intervened. Yeah, she she's intervened. Saved. She saved me from the cow. Tried the to get the cow to follow me instead. The, it was not interested in you like, at all. There's most most of the cows were like super chill, but there were one or two who <laughs> stood their ground and so on. So that's interesting, you actually got charged, so we didn't get charged. It's like a fake charge, but it's scary. Yeah. So you got a few foot stompings um, very quickly rerouted. Oh, this was a fun morning. Quite a contrast from the sunny first day. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So this was a grind to get up, right? And after an hour of hiking, we're we're at the quote unquote air quotes top and we're like high fiving and then we find in fact there's like another I don't know another hour of hiking Fast to get climb. through and uh, it was snowing <laughs> yeah yeah the conditions deteriorated <laughs> and it ended up we were at the top of the notch with like no visibility of like how to get down for the notch uh, and then randomly ran into a French guy who who helped give us the direction to get back down. Uh, and then that led us to our guest house experience, which I think we all appreciated. Mm -hmm. uh, and we were reunited yes. after hurt. two days. <laughs> and there's all of our wet clothes hanging up to dry. <laughs> Nice and toasty warm with you. Yeah, that's our little <laughs> shanty town in the middle. We all found each other, we're all back together. <laughs> that's true. In the yurt trying to dry out all our clothes. <laughs> Saturday night. It's Saturday Ooh, night. Saturday night. 8.30, a little past our yurt at that time of 7.30. <laughs> Sam Bridge <laughs> <laughs> and typical of the quality of bridges that we come to know and love. At least this one went all the way across. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of kind of hard to uh, to get sort of an average construction condition of these given that most of them had already fallen into the river. <laughs> uh, and then this is the hike up to Alicola Lake which is one yeah. of the, the, the marquee items on the list. Surely you thought someone called in a chauffeur. Yes. It was me thinking about not carrying my bag. <laughs> <laughs> Here's you not carrying a bag. <laughs> we just passed a group of horses and we see two guys with what looks like Kim's backpack. And one has Julia's backpack. So it looks like they have found some folks to bring him up to the pass. This was the day we didn't carry our backpacks for a little while. Yeah. Like an hour. <laughs> and then we had to put them back on for the hardest part. <laughs> right. Yeah. Right we're up going up day. over that? That's what we're going up over? No, definitely not. Not that. <laughs> no, it can't possibly no, be that. Can't no, yeah. nothing. <laughs> Yeah, we were definitely having that conversation on the way up. We're like, nah, we're going to go around a corner and it's going to reveal <laughs> like a little pass. There's no way we're going over that. And uh, here we are going over that. <laughs> <laughs> but we were told near vertical climb, so that, that is what we got. We did get that. Yeah. And this is the reward. Yeah, pretty amazing view it when was you get totally over the top. In some ways, the climb down the other side, I think, was worse. Like, it lasted much longer. It was a more rocky terrain. I know what you mean. I do know what you mean. I mean, no. downhills are, it's not a, you know, they can be pretty savage on the legs. And the big sign that was about the rock slide for the next mile or something <laughs> uh, kept me on my toes. That's a good win. <laughs> smiles, smiles, smiles. All in a day's work. <laughs> my faking <Yeah>. smile. <laughs> right, we're cooking dinner. Say hi, Dan. Goodwin, what are you eating over there? Crumbly biscuits from this morning's breakfast. And? Delicious British tea that my mum made me pack 
Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and it's it's snowing a little, isn't it? Yeah, it's very festive. Yeah, it's like, it's like an Englishman out of uh, England, but <laughs> even in Kazakhstan. Yeah. Wrong country. <laughs> Kazakhstan. What are we in? Kyrgyzstan. Yeah. Kyrgyzstan. Kyrgyzstan. <laughs> can, we be, can we do that take again? <laughs> <laughs> nope, it's the same forever. <laughs> uh, day five was super high. <laughs> Uh, pass, which is name oh Alcon, Alcon, Alcon Lake. Lake. Um, the first bit was easy because we paid someone to take our bags <laughs> for like an hour. <laughs> an hour walking, we walked without bags. That was awesome. And then we got our bags back, and then we went straight. Hold on, where where did they leave the bags? I don't know. Right, right before the big hike. Yeah, straight up. It was like straight up for like three hundred meters. meters. Um, I thought I was gonna die because it literally was like straight up and just like rocks and my heart was pounding so fast. And at the top I was scared I was gonna fall off because it was very far down both sides. <laughs> but the top was worth it! It, it always really is. Really and then coming down was really hard too because our feet really hurt. So many rocks, <laughs> lots of signs saying rock slides. Yeah. But the only path is through the rock slides. <laughs> But we made it. We're yes. here in the tent next to the lake, but it's really cold, so we can't see the lake. <laughs> Tomorrow. I, I crawled into the camp wanting to cry. <laughs> and now we had food. I had food, so I feel better. Hi. Till tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> How was your hike today? Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, hike was very good, thank you. Um, yeah big steep hill it was a steep uphill but a very rewarding view at the top yeah um, awesome and we all got to regroup at the top which was nice that was cute it's nice mm -hmm. to be hiking together today although some people today did not carry their packs the whole way <laughs> i won't name any names <laughs> good one <laughs> how did you like the rocky oh this this bit? I was glad I was going down it because it was looser scree on this side. So it was a bit, ugh, but at least we we're going down it. So you kind of like, okay. I did almost roll my ankle though. But the mm, sand was tough. a bit too long, I thought. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Needs more variety. Yeah. The climb was shorter than I was expecting. So I was expecting it to be really bad. Um, but then the descent was longer than I expected. So. Yeah. The yeah, descent was worse for me. Yeah. But it's a beautiful lake and the we got set up awesome. before oh, yeah. it started raining or that's there was a few drops. So that's exciting. Hold on. We can just cut and show. <laughs> Are you awake in there, Delia? Yeah. Are you ready for your video montage? No. Oh, you did burn a hole in your tent. <laughs> Whoa. That could have been serious. It was serious. Okay. I have a hole in my tent. <laughs> Maybe they will warranty it. I suspect not. <laughs> Especially because the massive warning size thing is <laughs> not heat resistant. How high was the big... The big pass? Yeah. Uh, I think it was close to 12,000, a little over 12,000 feet. But like from the where the horses rested. Oh, where the horses went to? To the top. Okay, yeah, we underestimated that 200. Yeah. Okay, I said it's at least a thousand, but maybe it was just under a thousand feet. We should all just switch to the metric system. Is That's the conclusion of today's hike, is we should switch to the metric system. And then we get home and we just sound like assholes because we're all <laughs> talking in. Snack time. What day are we? Six. Is this the hardest day or is yesterday the hardest day? Depends on, depends on how the river goes. <laughs> We'll find yeah. out, yeah. That wasn't so bad. No, that wasn't too bad, so we made it through one semi-treacherous river crossing, well, stream crossing. And maybe one more pass. Yeah. So we were really concerned that that was going to be icy and snowy and dangerous, but it wasn't so bad. Yeah. It was, it was almost near vertical, too, to get out of the lake. <laughs> Snowing up there, raining down here, and we're stuck on the wrong side of the river. Oh, I will always refer to this day as the, the day that we all fell a bunch of times. <laughs> Eleven times for me. So many. Oh, it was a, yeah, it was a very rainy day, right? Like, after we went past that notch, it just got rainy and stayed rainy. Slipping uh, and sliding down the mountain. And then we came to a river that we could not get across. Yes, no bridges. And uh, we were walking <laughs> back and forth trying to find a way over the river. I, I What's the plan, Gidwin? 
we are going to investigate the river here and see if we can get across without anyone drowning. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> Pretty much everyone was, was certainly several people were getting a little bit hypothermic at that point. <laughs> That's why the tents went up and then we got in the warm stuff because yeah, it's a lot of... Completely soaked. Yeah. There's just all five of us bundled into Dan and Tiara's tent. Making the master plan that David Goodwin executed. And there he comes. <laughs> That's a Sasquatch, isn't it? <laughs> there he comes with oh, the waves across the river. You got my Turn your back. This is the deep part. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so this is, yeah, so then we, we're heading down the valley, right, taking the, the more direct route out, and we had one, one night, one night besides the river, and then the next day was a very easy, gentle walk, uh, until we back, hit back to like a, a, air quotes, road and started to find cars and taxis that we could get a ride back into Caracol. I think we have one more bridge experience though, right? One more, yeah. And a car which is clearly <laughs> designed for <laughs> this. this guy, I don't know what this guy was thinking. <laughs> it's it's like, a yeah, Subaru. <laughs> I'm gonna take my 1.2 litre Polo. <laughs> Golf, actually, I think it is. Take it down something like that. Clearly requires a high clearance for my ball. <laughs> and then we got onto the road, we saw taxis shuttling people back to this area, and uh, when they dropped off the people they were bringing here. We flagged them down, five of us in the back of a, some fairly small car, right? And then we got that back into Caracol. In fact, just in time for lunch, I think. And everyone survived. We all survived. 